Are we looking for a CT review? If you want it, I've got it. We're going with proportions and ratios right now. So we have a certain map of Colorado, which tells us that one inch is worth 15 miles. And we're asked to find out how many miles we will get if we have three and four fifths of an inch that it's representing. We have all these choices right here, so let's get to work. So when we are starting with this, you do want to see that part right here. One inch is represented of 15 miles. So when we start off our setup, we want to start off being very consistent. So we have one inch, and that is worth 15 miles. So if you want to start it off, this is probably the best way to do this. Again, this is inches. And you want to be consistent in one way or another. Now, we're looking for how many miles and we know that three and four fifths of an inch is the representation of it. So since we put inches on a numerator up here, we're gonna do the same thing over here. Now we're gonna rewrite this as a decimal. So four fifths is a nice, easy decimal. It's 0.8 or 8 tenths. So we're gonna keep the inches with the inches and then we're gonna put the miles with the miles. Now we don't know how many miles yet, so we're gonna just put that. Now, easiest thing to do is to cross multiply one times x is just going to be x, simple enough. And then we do our multiplication diagonally this way. And we do 15 times 3.8. And when I do that, you're gonna get 57. And that is gonna be in miles. So when we look at our options to choose from, we can see that C is the correct answer. And now I've got this one done. If you want more questions like these, you can find them on my YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok at you want algebra. All of them are located in the ACT, SAT, playlists that I have located on all of those channels.